Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sid Survival Guide here, signing in with a new addition. Today, I'm adding some things to the Mountaineer. And what I'm hoping it's going to lead to is a more comfortable position. Be able to lay in this thing. See this? This is a freebie. Snap. Oh man, that's a good addition. And as you can tell, we got the few things that we might need if we wanted to stay in here. Beef, stroganoff. We got our cooking utensils. We got our reading material. It's a pretty good upgrade. The only thing I've got to figure out is how to make it where I'm laying even. Cause this ain't too bad. You know, this isn't, it ain't terrible. But I'd like to make some more improvements. Cause this is, I mean, this is better than it was. This is almost, this is almost as good as my bed in the house. Now that's either me being extremely expensive out here or super cheap in there, one or the other, you know. I thought you guys would like this little bit of an update. So that's what this video is going to be. Just an update on what of the things that I'm doing. I'm going to show you the progress that I've made with the Mountaineer on making it a, a vehicle that we can actually get out and do some, some camping in. I think it's coming together nicely. What do you think? And as you guys know, I've already sanded old Coleman here. This is a chum bucket. We're gonna get the name put on it after we paint it. Been looking into my options on painting this thing. If you guys got any recommendations on what I should use on a Coleman 15 and a half foot canoe, make sure to let me know. Now I'm gonna show you a couple more things that I've been dealing with. One thing is my truck. I don't know if you can see that, but we have a broke truck. We have a broken frame. If you can see that right there, you see that broken frame, right? Okay. Let me show you what it does. not supposed to be like that so we've had our our hands full with a few things including taking stock of the food that we have and I'll show you this right here and of course the paddle that's in that same video I had to repair it because it split I left it out in the weather and the beautiful weather is coming. It's kind of cool right now. And I've got a, I got a kid with a broken arm. We just went and got a cast on today. I do plan on doing a lot of other things though, once we get past this little spell. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed just a little look into what I've been doing this week and over the past couple of weeks and the problems I'm trying to figure out. That's all part of survival. That's why I, I called it Sid's Survival Guide. Anything and everything is a part of survival. Fixing your truck, making your car suitable for camping trips, feeding yourself, all that good stuff. I know it's not a lot this week, but it is for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you got any comments or recommendations about what I do about any of this stuff, whether it be the Mountaineer to camp in, the truck with a broken frame, the canoe that needs painted, we'll figure it out. This is Sid Survival Guide. 